One of our commenters said that they asked ChatGPT for how they could get a job at Veronis, and they got a pretty good response. I think this links <laughs> back to the fact that when you connect to it, you get a different instance sometimes that mm. might be more or less helpful. And I found that like they kind of have like different personalities almost, where sometimes it'll it'll just like like send stuff that shit in, and other times it's very conservative. So in my current one, I just asked, um, how would I get a job at Veronis? And it gave me this advice that's just like, you should look on Glassdoor or LinkedIn. And then uh, you should apply through the appropriate channels. You should complete perhaps a skill assessment and participate in interview. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you should also reach out directly and inquire about a job opportunity. This is cookie cutter. It could mm -hmm. apply to anything. So if I ask, what does Ronis do and how might I get a job there? It gives me like a boilerplate description. And then it gives me the same basic advice. It doesn't really give me like much beyond that. Is this wrong? No, but you would apply for any job like this. It doesn't really demonstrate like a specific understanding of how you would apply for a, a a job that like has specific requirements or is focused on a specific thing. So maybe you got a different response than me, or maybe this mm -hmm. is just useful information in general. But yeah, it does seem to lack some ability to understand like bonuses of cybersecurity people. What kind of people do mm -hmm. we hire? Will we hire engineers and salespeople and marketing people and like people to make sure that our customers are happy? There's a variety of different ways it could have made that response better, I think, based on like giving it a subject that knows about, mm -hmm. obviously, but it it's still a little bit cookie cutter in some ways. I wonder, have you explored using like different verbiage and seeing how that affects what it tells you to do? Yes. So sometimes it does. Generally, logic is the most important mm. thing to make it so that things are more clear, explicit, or done in a specific order. Or if you don't specify how something is done and it's making a mess of it, sometimes you just have to describe how you want it done. Like, okay, mm. I want you to do this, that, this, and that, and then leave it up to the AI to figure out how to execute those instructions. So here it's trying to tell me what kind of candidates would stand out at Veronis. Then experience. <laughs> oh wait, in data security, information technology okay. or related field, knowledge of data governance, experience with data analytics, strong problem solving, excellent communication. Okay, that's come on. Yeah. A passion for data security, willingness to learn and adapt to new technologies and methods. This is actually like what you should put in your resume. Honestly, if you're wanting somebody at, who's doing hiring at Veronis for the engineer role or something specifically to be interested. So actually, like I will say that, if, yeah, if you give it more specific context or if you allow it to construct the logic in a different way, sometimes you get very different results. And again, just refreshing can also give you very different results. I wonder results. if it could write you a, <laughs> like, like an application for you or do a resume all together or a cover letter. Yeah want to work at Veronis. All right, I don't mean to cheat you guys, but if this is what it, what's cool about it. So now knowing that it knows that, that Veronis is a data security company and telling it that I want it to come up with three reasons, whatever those reasons are. If this were a bad language model, it would probably pick three pretty lousy reasons. Like I stubbed my toe. Uh, getting up this morning and it made me furious about data security or whatever. But here we go. Dear hiring manager, I'm writing to my strong interest in data security analyst position at Veronis. I'm confident that my skills and experience make me an excellent fit for this role and I'm very eager to join your team and contribute. Here are three reasons I want to work at Veronis. I'm passionate about data security in particular. I would hire this person. <laughs> I have the opportunity to use my experience to help Veronis to keep their clients' data, the assignments with my personal values and career goals. I'm impressed by Veronis's innovative approach to this is such a, <laughs> this thing is such a suck up. I am drawn to Bronus's culture and values. From what I've seen, okay, so I would be thrilled out for, man. Like <laughs> That's I, actually like gold. I, I would. What I hate is that if I got this cover letter, I'd be like, when can we set up the interview? So, so here's the thing, like social engineering is really what I'm getting at by the, using these examples. This thing is so good at interpreting vague instructions. And this is a good cover letter. Like it understands mm -hmm. the context. It, it picks three great reasons why this machine wants to work at Veronis. So the fact that it was able to interpret one sentence mm -hmm. and make something that would probably get somebody their first interview, that is the power of why we're talking, why everybody's mm -hmm. kind of talking about this language model and why it's so interesting in its potential and what it's going to do.